Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Pages Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduk, and this is tip number 165, Introducing Power Pages. By the time this video will be released, this will already be a week old, but in case you haven't heard, Power Apps Portals is now known as Power Pages. This was announced during the keynote at Microsoft Build. This is exciting news for many reasons. The first thing to note is the lack of the word app in the new name. This was no accident. Power Pages is a main offering within the Power Platform, alongside its siblings of Power BI, Power Automate, Power Virtual Agent, and yes, Power Apps. While from a technical perspective, Power Pages are still built on Dataverse, and will still leverage a lot of the Power Apps functionality, the fact that it now stands on its own, at least from a marketing perspective, tells you where Microsoft sees the product. It is important to note that everything you already know and love about Power Apps Portals applies to Power Pages. This change in name is similar to what we went through when the name changed from Dynamics 365 Portals to Power Apps Portals. The underlying technology remains the same, but I expect the scale of Microsoft's investment to grow. While the low-code angle of the product is what makes the headlines, Microsoft continues to honor their commitment to no-cliff app development by investing in the pro developer story. There are a couple of main areas that I'm excited about. Microsoft has been investing heavily in the building out of the Templates Hub, providing real-world examples to kickstart your Power Pages projects. And support for enterprise-grade hosting features like CDN, web application firewalls like Azure Front Door, and DDoS protection demonstrate Microsoft's commitment to making this a product that is ready for projects of any scale. And maybe most importantly, Microsoft and I can finally agree again on the capitalization of their product name. No more having to worry about the lowercase p in portals. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Pages tip number 165 on introducing Power Pages useful.